Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my January wrap up and my February to be read. In January, I finished seven books! If you are new to my channel, you won't know this, but most of you know that I have been in a huge reading slump ever since the book team thon in July, and I haven't ever been reading, and it was horrible, I was reading like less than a book a month. It was awful, and I read seven books last month. I'm so proud of myself. I'm finally out of my reading slip. Calm down. I really didn't read seven books. I kind of did. I mean, <laughs> I finished five books, and I read two novellas, but one of the books that I read, I was, like, just finishing it. I had started it before last month, but I think it still counts because two of these are actually pretty big. So we're going to get started on what I read last month. The first book that I read last month was a novella, and it was In Time by Alexandra Bracken, which is the novella that comes after The Darkest Minds, and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. After that, I read Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. I can't believe this was just last month. It seems like it was so long ago, but I really loved this book. I love this trilogy so, so much. It's one of my all-time favorites now, and I have book reviews up for every single book in the trilogy, not the novellas, but... I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. If you want to know more why or hear my thoughts more on it, in the description box I will be putting a link to my book review for Never Fade. After that, I read Sparks Rise, which is the novella that comes after Never Fade. I really, really like this novella. I liked it more than the last one, and I also gave this one 4 stars, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, I don't love these novellas as much as most people do. Most people are like, I cried in them, and they're so good. And I'm like, yeah, they're good, but I didn't cry in any of them, so I don't know what that says about me. But, um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the novellas, so four stars to both. Immediately after that, I started In the Afterlight by Alexander Brackett, and this is the last book in the Darkest Minds trilogy, and I loved it. It's probably my f second favorite in the series. It was really, really good. Oh, I love this trilogy so much. I also gave this book four out of five stars. I think the first one is the only one I gave five out of five stars. Really, I love these books. The only thing that I you know, took off a Star Wars. There's so much swearing in these books, and I really didn't like that about them. But the story and the characters, oh, the characters are the best part. And then there's so many, like, plot twists, and it's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. If you can ignore swearing, read them. After that, I read A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline, Madeline Le Engel. I completely butchered that name. I was actually reading this for school. I was reading, like, a chapter every day and I finished it last month so I really liked this book I gave it four out of five stars I enjoyed it it was I mean this is more intended for like middle grade or elementary and honestly for that age group I don't think it's good for that age it's just very dark it has many like creepy dark parts in it that I don't think it's good for I'd say like ages 12 and up but not like eight <laughs> so yeah I really liked it though after that, I read The Winner's Curse by Marie Redkotsky. I need confirmation on how to say her name because I say it differently in every single video. One time I think I called her Mia Redkotsky by accident, so I just... I gave this book 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I rarely give books 3 stars because I'm usually very generous with my stars, but I didn't really enjoy this book. Um, it was just, the, I didn't really like any of the characters, and the plot was really boring. There were a couple moments that I liked, but honestly, overall, it was so boring. I had no motivation to read it. Um, I just didn't enjoy it at all. I mean, I didn't not enjoy it at all. I'd say I liked it 30% and disliked it 70%. I might be picking up the second one when it comes out, or after that. I don't know when exactly I'll be picking it up, but I kind of want to just because the cover is beautiful for the second book. Have you seen it? It's gorgeous. It's even more pretty than this one. So I'll probably be reading the second book, even though I didn't really like this one. Hopefully that one's better. And the final book that I read this month, I started on the 29th and finished on the 31st. It was so good. Okay, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. This book was fan. Fantastic. I had heard good things about it from, I mean, I hadn't heard a ton about it. I'd heard good things from my friend Carmen and from my friend Rachel. I hadn't really heard anyone else talk about it, but they both loved it. And I just bought it because I'm meeting her in March, the author, and I really wanted to read her book so I could get it signed. 
and it was amazing oh my gosh I gave it five out of five stars I loved the main character I may be doing a spoilery free review on this book so you can look forward to that it was so 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 good it just it's like Hunger Games but not in a copycat way if you have seen my last video this is probably getting really annoying but I rave about this book. It's so gripping. I read it really fast. Alright, so now we're going to go on to my February, yes. Now we're going to move on to my February to be read. And I'm not going to put a huge amount of books on here. I mean, kind of, but not really. Kind no. Okay. The first book that I am planning on reading this month is Atlantia by Ali Condi. I have read her Match Trilogy, but I'm also meeting her in March. Um, I wanted to read her new book. I'm looking forward to this because it's like underwater people and all this stuff so it sounds really good and it's pretty small so I'm looking forward to reading this. Then after that I'm going to read To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I again have read her summer trilogy but I wanted to read this book before I meet her also in March. If you haven't picked up on it there's a book convention like an hour away from where I live in March and I'm meeting lots of awesome authors and I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. The next book I'm going to be reading this month, Ferris by Marissa Meyer. I'm just dying for this book because everyone's reading it and loving it, and I love the Lunar Chronicles, and I just need to read it. I need to read it. I'm so excited. Oh. Okay, then this is one of the books, again, that I don't have yet, um, but I'm ordering it soon, and that is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. I'm hoping to read this month because Lindsay Cummings is so awesome. Like, if you don't know about her, she's the coolest author ever. She always responds to comments on her Instagram posts and stuff. She makes YouTube videos, and she has two books out, The Murder Complex and The Balance Keepers, The Fires of the Cauldron, I think it's called, and I'm planning on buying both of her books to get them signed in March, and I cannot wait to meet her because she's such an awesome person. She also lives in Texas. We both have chickens. I just can relate to her, and and I really, really want to read her books. I'm super, super pumped to read this book because I have heard so many good things. After that, I'm definitely going to be reading Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott when it comes out, which is the sequel to Fire and Flood. Oh my gosh, it comes out on the 27th and wait, I don't know if I'll be finishing it this month. Maybe on like the 1st of March because I normally need like three days for these books, but maybe I'll finish it in two days. If I get it the day it comes out, I'm going to be reading it really fast, because I forgot that February only has 28 days, and it comes out on the 27th. So we'll see if I finish it this month, probably. We'll see, but I'm so excited. Anyway, that is it for my January wrap-up and my February TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite book you read in January was. I really loved Fire and Flood, but I think my favorite was In the Afterlight just because it was the ending to a trilogy and it was like perfect and beautiful. I did love Fire and Flood though. There's sort of like a tie. Least favorite was The Winner's Curse. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.